Nowadays, everyone needs a smartphone, even for kids below 10 years of age. And actually, this is very good. Because as soon as students explore the internet, they will be broad in their perspective. And there are also very good things in it, and there are also bad things. Because if someone uses the internet in such a young age, then they don't know what they are doing, which are good things and which are bad things. And in this day and age, your personal data is everything. It can be proper use and it can be misuse. In this like situation, it is important to keep a track on your kid's activity. Let that be in terms of web browsing, if a suspicious person is trying to contact them, or if they click on an hackable pop-up, then it's very much risky. And that's where Kids Guard Pro comes in. So, KidsGuard Pro is a monitoring app made for Android by CleveGuard. You can remotely track the activity of your kid or staff member by simply monitoring all of the social media apps. You can do everything from looking at the chat history to the social media messages and pretty much everything. You just name it and you can do all of this without even rooting your Android phone. And these are the steps to use the software. The first thing that you have to do is open clevguard.org. After going there, you have to select the Kids Guard Pro for Android. Then you have to create an account or auto sign up with Google. And after that, you have to select a particular plan and purchase it. So these were the steps for your computer from where you're going to be monitoring everything. Let's come to the second part. And that is about making your Android phone ready. So whichever phone you want to keep a track on, you have to take that phone so you can open Chrome or any browser and type in this URL called as clevguard.net. Then you will see an option to download an APK. So download it, then open your phone setting, give permission to third party downloads and after that you can install the application. Then open the app, sign in with the account that you had created or auto sign in with Google. Then it will ask you to allow permissions, enable all of them and that's it. Once everything is done, it will even hide the app icon. Now go to your computer, open dashboard and start monitoring everything and it is safe to install. But make sure it is designed for the right reasons. It is made for a good purpose and not for a bad thing. So that's it for this video. I will meet you in the next one. Until then, peace.